Hey folks, this one is going to be in English language, given the demand from some of my uh, international viewers. There's my wife in another room talking to somebody in China via phone. They talk in their native Shanghaiese dialect. Anyways, stay tuned. So our plan for that day was to have a brunch here at this restaurant since we got up really late that morning and which had been the main cause for why we skipped over the breakfast in the first place. Now, folks, when it comes to dining outside, I'm not really a fan, not overly enthusiastic about it, but it's something that my wife's been gradually introducing me to because back there in China, it is a common thing to go eat outside. I don't know, maybe I am cheap. Salty want to save some money or what not however here we are and when we finish this we're gonna walk from here all the way to city galeria where there's a bank office uh, where my wife wants to to apply for a bank account that bears her own name now that she had her residence permit uh, approved uh, here in Croatia. But before that, let me show you what had transpired a few days earlier. I have some footage that I don't want it to be wasted. So let's get started. So this is me and my dad separating the wine from the grape pomace. My parents own a small vineyard of about 800 grapevines. They're in the countryside, like 30 kilometers away from the city of Zadar. Oh, you take it. Film this. 320. So the fact is, guys, that now I have a surplus of wine that I would love to sell to somebody. So there's like 300 liters of red wine and perhaps 200 liters of white all for sale and then we went back to the city and this footage was taken during the uh, cold spell that had been lingering for a few days which was quite unusual because October is usually perceived as a, an extension of summer, but not as hot as summer. The cold was such that it literally called for the heating to be cranked up in the living room in the evening. This is an interesting occurrence or phenomenon. The camera cannot capture those numbers either by photo or video.
So basically, guys, when we have some free time at our disposal, we stroll around and uh, film and show you the uh, beautiful scenery from this beautiful city. But let me go back. I forgot to say something in defense of my uh, winemaking procedures. My wife uh, showed a footage to my uh, in-laws or her parents in China. And they were like, ha ha, look at the uh, floor in the cellar. The hygiene there is not on the top of the list kind of a mocking uh, but listen guys my parents are old and neither they have the physical power nor the financial resources to keep the floor in the cellar the cleanest as can be but rest assured all the uh, buckets and all the equipment that was used and that was in direct contact with the wine, it was perfectly cleaned. And I personally cleaned it. And who cares about the floor? And uh, as to the wine being exposed to the atmosphere, well, imagine those old Romans and Greeks when they made their wine. Did they have the, the, the uh, hydraulic pumps and all the piping and all the uh, modern folklore that's been used? Probably not. My point, guys, is that if you want to make a high-quality wine, you have to harvest a high-quality grapes prior to that. Uh, because that's what matters. And my grapes were as such. I use not uh, herbicides nor the insecticides. I sprayed it only twice against the diseases. This year I used the copper and sulfur fungicide preparations. And yeah, I apply them moderately even minimally anyways guys i apologize for my b-roll footage not matching my narration but uh, you have plenty of such videos on youtube from your fellow expats and uh, my videos are sort of a, an insider's view into and uh, you know I uh, maybe you could find it interesting from that perspective each time when I start editing process I set some rules that I'm gonna adhere to but as the time progresses somehow i lose discipline and wander off away to this corner that corner and then i come back and uh, it's a mess but uh, so the next morning when i'm going over it again i'm like what were you thinking when you said that but uh, nevertheless i let it be as it is I don't want to delete anything and to all that harsh criticism out there my response is you show me your video that you made mother effer I want to see it
interesting architecture down at the uh, old town. Footage filmed at night for a change. I miss my cat and my dog from the farm. Our landlord does not allow for the pets to be held in the apartment that we're currently have been renting. Shots taken at the or from the Murai Promenade. The cars are not allowed through here. Yet another sunny morning, an ordinary walk to groceries shopping. And the afternoons filled with the searches for bed sheets, blankets, whatever. So maybe it's that. So guys, we're back on track again. And I don't know if you remember, but we're on our way to City Galeria. Anyways, this is a newly recently built residential area, kind of a futuristic. It looks like there's a lot of free space to build some more. And this particular building was built I guess in nineteen seventies. An old house right at the corner, a new building further ahead, and to the left some big time infrastructure endeavors going on right at this moment. Zadar keeps growing guys. And my wife and I, we're almost there. Yep, that's it. City Galeria or the City Gallery. And eventually, job not done. Bank account was denied to my wife explanation you have to have a valid reason for that that is she either has to have a job to be employed or own a property in Croatia well that was all folks thank you for watching stay tuned as always Damage done